Hello there, Internet. I am Mr. Shark the Shark Puppet, and this is the premiere of Shark vs. Anime, where I will take on the world of cat girls and giant robots with nothing but a body full of stuffing and a soul full of bitter cynicism. This week, I will be joining the feeding frenzy surrounding Attack on Titan. Let's do this! Attack on Titan is about a bunch of people who live in a city surrounded by heavily fortified walls. The walls are there to keep out titans, which are big giant dudes who like to eat humans. When the titans come busting through the walls, the humans have to use these cool grappling hook launcher thingies to outmaneuver the titans and stab them in the back of the head with a sword. My first and biggest problem with this show is the obvious error it makes in terms of monster design. Why would you want to have giant people that break through a wall when you could have giant sharks that pop up out of the ground? As a shark puppet, I would have found this to be a much more compelling choice. Also, most of the characters feel kind of two-dimensional, and no, not just because the show is animated. I didn't find anybody particularly likable or relatable, since all anyone ever does is fight titans and complain about how dangerous it is to fight titans and then get killed and eaten when they're trying to fight titans. The one exception is a female soldier who constantly obsesses over food. Even though she's a human, I saw my own appetite reflected in hers. On the positive side, the fight scenes are so intense that the rest of the show is pretty much irrelevant. If you took Spider-Man and had him jump around stabbing giants in the head with a sword, the result would be similar to Attack on Titan, only not nearly as awesome or addicting to watch. So, should you go watch Attack on Titan? Yes, absolutely you should. It's big, epic action done right. My only suggestion is to keep food nearby whenever you watch an episode. After half an hour of watching people getting eaten by monsters, I always find myself hungry for some reason. You can watch the show online at either Crunchyroll.com or Funimation.com. So hurry up and hop on board this year's biggest bandwagon. I know I did. Also, come back next week as I sink my teeth into the giant robot action of Gargantia on the Virtuous Planet. Yay!